Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the RX 5700 XT in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone Season 5. This one is the power color version of the car, the dual fan model, not the Red Dragon, not the reference cooler. It sits in the middle of those two. And I'm, of course, running the latest drivers from AMD, Adrenaline 2020 20.8.3. And as usual, I'm running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM dual channel 3200 MHz CL14. So let's Let's get right into it my friends, let's go over the settings first. I'm gonna be playing this one at 1920 by 1080 as well as 2560 by 1440 using the low and high settings, starting off with the low settings, this is it, take a look at them. Uh, everything is basically on the minimum settings except for the texture resolution which I set to low instead of very low. Uh, so they're going to prison, I am going to downtown my friends because we always drop in downtown to test the GPUs you know. Okay, we're dropping right now. It seems like this is a very populated area. Our boy is gonna go to that tower, of course. They always go for that tower for some reason, and I always die, okay? So, yeah, there it is. He's already dead. Anyways, <laughs> let's start counting our FPS over here. I really want to go to the most intensive street here in downtown, but I am not sure if I can, because there, has, there are a lot of people in that general area, so I'm probably gonna die doing so. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try it anyways. Let's do this. It's right there by the way okay one guy dropping right there another one dropping right there uh th that looked like a parachute by the way <laughs> anyways let's uh, yeah let's see our fps most demanding area in downtown oh boy unfortunately our fps drop into the 150 teens like the 110s to 120s not very good guys I'm gonna tell you uh, in season one in this game we could actually get 144 plus FPS all of the time with the 5700 XT and now it seems like our averages are below 144 right now they will probably be above that number if we just left downtown or if we entered some buildings and stuff like that and our FPS are probably lower than usual because there was a ton of people dropping here in downtown this time around. I've actually played one game with the 5700 XT today and nobody dropped in downtown and I was getting like 10 more FPS. So of course depending on how many people drop near you it's gonna affect your FPS a little bit as well but uh, you know what it's still a smooth experience obviously but I expected a lot better coming from 5700 XT on the lower settings. Uh, we are CPU bound most of the time right now by the way so disabling the hyper threading or the S on the 3700X would actually help with that, which is very interesting. But yeah, you would end up getting a few more FPS, but I'm not gonna do it because pretty much nobody's gonna do that, I think. These are still very, very decent frames. Oh my god, I was looking at the FPS. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, these are still very, very good FPS, of course, and as you can see right here, uh, where there aren't really many people around, uh, we're getting pretty decent frames, again, okay, like above 144, so that's what you can expect if you are in a less populated area. I totally forgot to collect money in this one, okay, there's a guy right there, oh, god damn it, he doesn't have shields, by the way, can we do this with the Semtex, maybe, I'm gonna, oh, 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 boy! Oh no 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 Oh, come on all right i still got him oh my god that was so close look at my health right there guys so if you're not playing in downtown or very populated areas you can expect your fps to be around like 150 sometimes it will drop into the 140s sometimes it will go up to like 170s 160s as you can see uh but yeah that's the experience you can expect it's still a high refresh rate experience but it seems like they actually made it a little bit more demanding on the 5700 xt the season uh, once again so I guess the 1080 will also be a little bit oh god damn it I forgot I didn't have shields <laughs> with every single season it gets more and more demanding but that's enough for 1080p with the low settings as you could see we still managed an average of above 144 so it's still a very smooth experience all right and if you have something like a Core i9-9900K or an i7900K overclocked you should be able to get more FPS you know because we were CPU bound after all here at the 1080p resolution most of the time 2560 by 1440 resolution is now applied and we're still using the low setting and it doesn't seem like the fps changed too much right now which is very interesting but now we are gpu bound so 
okay then. <laughs> of course, we're not in downtown, so this is a much less stressful area for the GPU, so it's getting really, really nice FPS, and you know what? If you have a 1440p monitor, I guess it's still going to be a very, very playable, very high refresh rate experience. I am running a 165Hz 1440p monitor, and I can tell you right now, guys, this looks super sharp and very, very nice and very detailed, even on the low settings, okay? So if you want to play this game at 1440p, rest assured the 5700XT can do it absolutely fine, like... Yeah, we're getting 99% GPU usage right now, which is what you want, of course. So if you have a Ryzen 3 3300X or Ryzen 5 3600, you should also be able to get these FPS, by the way. And I'm gonna try to go to downtown once again. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the difference in FPS from 1080p to 1440p is that big. Can we actually get him? Oh no, oh <laughs> come on. Alright, that was close. <laughs> Hello, buddy Audrey, how are you doing? Just collecting Z Zero money, aren't you? Good, good stuff. You keep doing what you're doing. All right, anyways, let's go. <laughs> All right, we're almost there, and we're of course getting lower FPS than at 1080p, that's to be expected, obviously, uh, but you know what, I just, I was expecting like 115 on average, not 120 right now, uh, or 127, but yeah, in the most demanding street, we drop from 100 FPS to like 95, uh, not too bad still, it's still playable, obviously, but... It's a considerable drop coming from 1080p, like 20 less FPS. There's a guy right there. Should I? I... Am I gonna... No, I'm not gonna kill him, <laughs> alright. Oh, wow, guys. I just love this game whenever it's set to 1440p resolution. As you might expect, I don't test this resolution very often because I don't have, like, 1440p capable GPUs, or not, at least not a lot of them, you know? But whenever I'm testing, like, the GTX 1080, GTX 1660 Ti, or the RX 5700 XT, which are the higher end GPUs that I own, uh and I test 1440p, it's just an amazing experience, it's beautiful guys, I just, I forget how beautiful this monitor looks actually. So we're getting really, really decent frames right now guys, these are, this is pretty damn smooth at 1440p, uh, but of course it's just because I think there aren't as many people in downtown as earlier, because everybody was just dropping here, so it put more strain on the CPU and we were actually CPU bound, right now we're fully GPU bound, I didn't see the GPU usage going down from 99% and uh, it's done my friends so we got like what 16 17 less FPS on average than 1080p and of course as I told you if you had a beefier CPU you'd probably see like maybe 10 FPS more on average at 1080p as well because you wouldn't be bottlenecking the 5700 XT Alright, so right now we're playing at 1920 by 1080 of course, with the highest settings, as you can see everything is pretty much maxed out except for the last settings right here, which I don't like, like to be honest, I just disable motion blurs and depth of fields and stuff like that because it's too distracting for me in games and the anti-aliasing is not set to filmic SMAA T2X because uh, I feel like this one is a little bit sharper. And here we go, our boy is dropping with us, so that's awesome. And uh, let's see how many FPS we can get. Maybe we are still gonna be slightly CPU bound, who knows? I don't really think so, but uh, th th it's not a 99% usage, the uh, GPU usage, so maybe it's, yeah, I think it's slightly CPU bound still at 1080p high settings, as you can see, guys. It's fluctuating a little bit, the GPU usage, right there so this is what you can expect uh, I've seen a couple yeah there's another stutter right there so they seem to not have fixed that yet we've seen those stutters at the higher settings as well uh, in the previous season my previous video that I made in season 4 of course well, yeah, another one again. Hmm, I don't like these guys. I would much rather play this game at the low settings without any stuttering issues whatsoever, guys. So, uh, just be aware of that. If, if that's okay with you, a couple of stutters, like, every now and then, 
um, maybe okay play like this but I wouldn't really recommend it as you can see they're very consistent there and if you lower the texture quality here with the 5700 XT it will probably fix those stutters so we might actually do that at 1440p or maybe in just a little bit I'm just seeing the FPS right here in most demanding area uh, yeah it drops into like the mid 90s sometimes just like 1440p low settings uh, yeah VRAM utilization is getting up there anyway so let's set it to normal and see if it fixes things okay all right let's start counting our fps once again we got a stutter right there again hmm i okay then maybe it's another setting and not the textures these are very similar stutters to apex legends whenever the sun shadow detail settings actually uh, at max you know i'm gonna try to find out what's causing these stutters all right we know that's not the textures Okay, so it seems to be a little bit smoother right now. I disabled the cache spot shadows over here and the cache sun shadows as well. And I um, also changed this one from ultra to high, the particle lighting. So yeah, all right, let's do this. Oh, they're actually after me. Okay, I have enemies after me. I was just standing still there, but yeah, no game. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's definitely a little bit better. We got a little stutter right there once again, but maybe it was a one-off. I don't know if it starts becoming more consistent. It will indicate that it is not really those settings but I really think it was those settings because right now it's it's basically smooth for a lot longer the frame time graph and frame rate where all right let's keep on moving over here everything seems to be great right now we got two chests right here perfect amazing good stuff all right I'm just getting a lot of things right here I'm gonna go with the UAV right now there's usually a ton of money around this area uh, my boys are dying very close to me so they actually might be hunting for me right now so that's that's not good that's not good oh oh hello buddy how are you doing oh my god all right we're good right now guys we're good oh my god oh they're here they're right here all right one down okay okay and another one down good stuff my friends all right we got 130 fps on average it's pretty much the same thing as 1440p low but with worse one percent lows because of those stutters all right so 25 65 14 40 using the highest settings again except for these three of course let's do this and my boys just died both of them so that was pretty bad and i wasn't really there to help them so okay oh my god okay oh oh boy oh boy oh my gosh okay all right all right oh uh, airstrike oh i can't really do the airstrike right now that will be perfect oh boy there are the stutters once again guys so it wasn't really those three options those actually helped it a little bit but we're still getting those massive stutters one percent lows are below 60 right now and i've seen the same thing in the previous season as i took god damn it man i'm gonna try to lower this one to high instead of epic and maybe the textures once again let's see how this goes we got another stutter like right away so it's not that right I, I can't seem to fix this guys just play on low settings if you want to play at 1440p and are getting stuttering issues i'm just gonna set everything to the maximum settings once again i don't really care anymore it's smooth right now this is so weird it's so inconsistent my friends maybe it's just the game itself and not a single setting i don't know man it's wow right now it's actually very very nice all right i got him good Oh, uh, there's one. All right. What What are you doing there? <laughs> well, that was very interesting. <laughs> All right. Everything is fine right now, guys. Uh, I think, yeah, there are attack shoppers right there. Oh, boy. Can I do this? Oh, my God. Stop it. Stop it. No, come on. Goddamn attack choppers. Seriously, man. Yeah, there's a guy right there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is my boy dead? Yes, he just died. Oh. That guy doesn't know. He doesn't know. Maybe he knows now. Yes, he does. God damn it. Over here in the middle of nowhere. You can expect 100 plus FPS. So that's pretty damn good. And well, I, I guess it's just an around 100 FPS experience here with 1440p high settings. Which is not bad at all, obviously. My boy is coming with the chopper right there. It's not stuttering right now. It's so weird, man. Here we go, buddy. Let's do this. Um, yeah, looking at the map from up here with the chopper. Well, we got a little stutter right there, by the way. But yeah, we're still getting pretty decent frames. It's still a high refresh rate experience, to be honest, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know why I did that, guys. <laughs> ah, that was embarrassing, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna try to grab my uh, things. No, I'm just, I'm gonna die again. Oh, seriously, seriously, man. And I think that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a like if you did. And maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. So I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.